Wike, Amechi, and Abe in epic contests for the soul of Rivers APC. The Battle of the Soul of the All Progressive Congress APC in Rivers States has renewed political rivalry among former governors Rotimi Amechi, Yeisom Wike, and Senator Magnus Abe. Despite the ongoing legal tussle against the dissolution of the State Working Committee, SWC, of the All Progressive Congress, APC in River State, political gladiators are already scheming to outsmart one another in the titanic battle that will make or mar the future of the party in Rivers. The battle for the soul of the All Progressive Congress, APC in River State, has renewed political rivalry. Ironically, the trial car caught their political teeth in the People's Democratic Party, PDP. But with time, three of them climbed high on the political ladder, with two becoming chief executives of the state at different times, while the third ended up as a senator with eyes on the governorship seat. Some residents of the state refer to them as three musketeers. Following political developments in the state, ahead of the 2023 general elections, Wiki, as the sitting PDP governor, led the G5 governors to campaign for the emergence of Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu as the president and the inability of Rivers APC to win the governorship election. There are new political realignments that have subdued APC structure in the state. Many analysts saw the state ESCO led by Emeka Beke as a weakling that could no longer provide effective leadership for the party, given the influx of political gladiators dumping their parties for the APC. Becker and his other ESCO members are believed to be loyalists of Amechi, who has been on the wrong side of the party after the presidential election. Amechi, one of APC's founding fathers, resigned from former President Mohamed Buhari's cabinet to contest for the party's presidential ticket with Tinubu and others. But after losing the primary, Amechi developed cold feet towards the presidential campaign that produced Tinubu, leaving Wike to lead the presidential campaign in the state. Amechi deployed his efforts and resources for the party to win other elections in the state, which did not produce the desired results. Despite the perceived cold war between Amechi and the national leadership of the party, and the president, Beke, had on August 26, 2023, led some leaders of the party in the state, including the governorship candidate of the party in the last election, Tonye Cole and Dr. Dakuku Petersai, to visit Abdullahi Ganduje, who was confirmed as the national chairman of the party on August 3, 2023, by the National Executive Committee, NEC, of the party. However, that did not stop the national leadership of APC from dissolving Becker-led ESCO on November 24th, 2023, and replacing it with a seven-man caretaker committee led by Tony Okocha, believed to be an ally of Wiki. The national spokesperson of the party, Felis Mocha, said the caretaker committee would be in office for six months to conduct a comprehensive and fresh electronic party registration for all members of the party. He said the caretaker committee, subject to the directives of the National Working Committee, was entrusted with preparing for the conduct of the Congresses to facilitate the emergence of new executive committees for the party at various levels, extending from the wards to the state. But the publicity secretary of the dissolved ESCO, Darlington Wanju, said there was no justification for dissolving the ESCO because there was no crisis in the party. He said there was no reason at all for dissolving the party executives in the state. When you talk about crisis and people's management, remember that we came to visit him, Ganduje. He didn't invite us. So after that visit, if there were issues that he felt we should sort out, and he wanted to help us resolve. Why were we not invited? Why were we not part of the process that led to this final decision on dissolution? You can see that the party was not carried along. The decision was taken to wipe off the entire validly elected structure. Will you now face the 1,421 delegates who voted for me across the 
219 words in River State that you had set aside their votes. The man whom Ganduje announced as the chairman of the Keteka Committee refused to revalidate his membership in the party. So his name is not on the party's register at the National Secretariat. You're announcing such a person as chairman of a Keteka Committee shows that the party lacks institutional memory, telling us you have dissolved validly elected executive of the party is not just an insult to our sensibility as human beings, but an affront to the constitution of the APC, to which we all subscribe. If you look at what it entails to be a member of the APC, as stated in Article 9, there is a specific tenor for the executive, and it is within the jurisdiction of the National Working Committee to dissolve, but not that of the neck. Not satisfied with the development and the manner the national leadership hijacked the party structure from them, the Becker-led state ESCO has approached an Abuja High Court and a Potakot High Court to challenge the dissolution and request the courts to interpret the constitution of the APC. Even when the powers that be in Abuja favor Wiki to control the APC structure in the state, the minister of FCT is still a bona fide member of the PDP, although many have argued that most of his political food soldiers have decamped to the APC. Indeed, 27 state lawmakers loyal to him had in December last year officially switched their allegiance to the APC. They cited an internal crisis within the PDP for their action. Political analysts have expressed concerns about how the three gladiators with their egos and ambitions would stay under one party without further bickering. Amechi has not spoken about the dissolution of the ESCO lawyer to him, creating suspense among party members. Abe is yet to inform the public if he has buried his governorship ambition, which Wiki and Amechi may not support. While Abe was defecting to the APC, he said he was doing so to support the government of President Bola Tinubu and ensure that Rivers people benefit from the development at the center. Abe said, my coming to APC is to work together with other members of the party to ensure growth, inclusion, prosperity, and progress for the river state and rivers people. If we all have the same mind, we'll achieve the objective, acknowledging that we are very strong characters. None of the people in the party is a walkover. But if we can all agree and come together, there is no other force again in rivers that can stop us. We are the ones who always stop each other. So I believe that if we can find common ground, which we have found in the APC, there will be peace for everyone. By now, everyone who is part of the APC should have learned something. It is time to see how we can make the party work. We are coming back with open minds and we are ready to work with everybody within the party. I believe that everybody who is sincerely interested in the progress of APC will be ready to work together. However, Wiki's open rift with Governor Simina Lai Fumbara and his romance with APC have opened another window for realignment with some PDP forces that have fallen apart with the minister. The likes of Abiye, Sekibo, Evans, BP, Austin Opara, Celestine, Omehia, and even former Governor Dr. Peter Odilis are pitching tents with Fumbara to rebuild the party. However, political watchers have predicted a tough contest for control of the structure of the party at the expiration of the six months given to the caretaker committee to complete its assignment.